be played at high volume, preferably in a residential area. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. This, 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 this is Rules Don't Fly Radio with Walker and Royce. In the mix, Cheryl Walker and Royce. I don't want no drama. I'm just trying to have fun. Rules don't apply. It's a free for all. Feel the vibe in this. I want to see the light on your face. In outer space. In outer space. Here, the room of the base. Welcome, welcome to Rules to Apply Radio. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Rules to Apply Radio. With me, Gavin and Sam. Hello, say hello. How's it going, everybody? We got a great episode today. This is episode number 63, and uh, it's a big deal today because we just released our album, No Big Deal. Full album's out now, Sam. How do you feel? It's no big deal. More on this. You know, we got a bunch of new music on the uh, on the show. We're going to talk about the album a little bit. We got um, so we got a rule breaker from Wallace. We got a no too weird for the floor from us in Zoff, part of the album that we're going to be talking about. Uh, and we got a bunch of other new music. Kristen Velvet, Life on Planets, a new Life on Planets record out now on RDA Records. So let's get into the music. Rules on Apply Radio here on Sirius XM, Diplo's Revolution. And uh, Sam, let's get into the music. I got the lead song here is a Tiger in the Woods track. It's called License to Vibe. So uh, let's get into the music and we'll be back to talk soon and uh, let us know how you feel. Hashtag RDA Radio. Let's go. Welcome, welcome to Rules to Apply Radio.
Apply Radio. Sam, we were just doing, we were just doing, uh, we're about to get into our rule breaker, but after the lead song from Tiger in the Woods, we came in with uh, a new one of ours, Motivation with Motivation. Reggie Watts. Motivation. Motivation. <laughs> I love the way we spelt this. It's uh, very creative of us, isn't it? With the uh, S-E-H-U-N at the end. <laughs> it's very clever of us, wouldn't you say? <laughs> very clever. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, let's get into our first feature of the month with the Rule Breaker from our good friend Wallace, good old Jimmy Wallace in 
Shrewsbury. How, how did they say Shrewsbury? Shrewsbury. This is over in England. This is, you know, what's like outside Manchester a bit. Um, it's a yeah, cute even little I town. Think closer to, closer to, it's, uh, uh, very close to Wolverhampton uh, for anybody who's a, a, an England aficionado. <laughs> Wolverhampton's a great town. I'll never forget the hamburger I had in Wolverhampton. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had a great Nando's meal in Wolverhampton right. once, <laughs> and then I, this is a true story. It was a great meal of Nando's, and then we went with Wallace, and we went to the darts competition. It was like a big, huge darts is like really big in England. Yes, you know, darts is a big thing over those pubs. You know, and we went to this crazy big like you know darts like competition. It was like I think they're filming it for TV. These guys come out. It's like a WWE wrestler. They come out with like a theme song. Oh, One yeah. guy had like a mohawk. It's almost like bowling over here, but like even bigger. Yeah. Well, this story has nothing to do with our rule breaker, except <laughs> Jimmy was there. Wallace was yes. there. But this is our good buddy, and uh, he's been really killing it recently. And this one's called Paper Trip. So let's get back to the music. This is our rule breaker, and we're going to come back and talk to you even more about some music, if you can believe it. Hashtag RDA Radio. Let's go. The rule breaker.
listening to Rules and Apply Radio. Here with me, Gavin and Sam. Sam, it's so great to have you on the show. It's great to be here. It's, you know, it's great when you come on your own show. It's so amazing. Um, after that rule breaker, though, uh, we want to highlight a little something. We had our new track, Fatalistic Groove, that just came out as part of the No Big Deal album uh, that we just yeah. released Friday. And uh, this was another one we did with Barney Bones, which I this is this I think is becoming my you know everyone's always like, what's your favorite track? Right now, Fatalistic Groove is my favorite track on the album, even though I do like Motivation as well. What, what, what do you feel? What do you feel about the album, Sam? I don't want to ask you your favorites. I don't want you to do that. I, I want you to t- tell us tell us how you feel now that the album's out. How, how do we feel? How do you feel personally? I uh, feel great. Um, you know, it's you, know, you do an album and all the tracks are like your children. You know, you, you can't, you know, you don't like one of your children more than the others, right? But uh, I mean, you know, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised with the response from Fatalistic Groove because to me, that's like a, like a wacky kind of track. Right. Yes. It's like, yes. track, like I like it on a personal level, but a lot of times those kind of tracks kind of miss with people or go over their heads or, or just more. It's like they're just not into it. No, I feel like the message maybe is being received here, which is good. Yeah, I always feel like the ones that we don't think are going to have as much impact are the ones that have the most impact. I think sometimes are like, you know, and then mm. it's always like, you know, my favorite thing when we did self-help was like everyone always wanted. Everyone always had like everyone I met had a fa- different favorite track, which I never expect if that makes sense. Yeah. So I always feel like that's a, that's a cool thing. And I think my tr- favorite track on these things, and yeah, you don't want to pick your favorite child or whatever, but I always feel like my favorite tracks on these things are kind of constantly changing, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, you know, when we set out to do the album, I think we only had a couple of tracks going. And as the rest of the album came together, the through line became obvious. Um, I still don't know how to put it in words, but it's sonically there. For self-help, you know, we, we, we you know, now for folks listening, you know, we've done two albums, so this is the second album, and uh, I, I think going into self-help, there was at least, I think I had like literally sketched out like a couple keywords, like you know, just kind of guiding right, principles yeah. of the album. And for this one, I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. It just didn't work. But and yet, it the still the same thing happened. Like it still emerged. Well, like like a, like a through line still emerged. So yeah, I feel like yeah, you're right. It kind of came over time. Where I feel like self help, mm-hmm. we did the album because we kind of had this. We knew we had this thing to tell. Yeah, I you know I, I I'm I'm a dad of two daughters, and like you know when you have one kid, and and you and you're gonna have a second one, you of course compare like you're like is the is the is the second one gonna be as good as the first one? Right, Sam. It's always good to get your thoughts. It's always good to get inside your head. I think people really enjoy it, and that's why I'm now gonna put you on the spot for a regular thoughts from regular guys, with Sam Walker. Give it to me, man. What do you got? This is a simple one. You got a simple one. That's fine. If you're ever in a situation where you have to use your fingernails, something has gone dreadfully wrong. <laughs> like, <laughs> what about if you're taking a key? I don't know how otherwise to get a key off the chain. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Finish, finish, finish. <laughs> Oh no! Okay, no. There's there's life, but then there's also like things that people did, like people made, like packages, or anything like that. And um, you know, yeah, it's like so. If you're opening a package and you have to use your fingernails, uh-huh. somebody's head's got to roll. <laughs> like somebody <laughs> failed in packaging, making that whatever it is. Like you're opening up a jar, you know, like a medicine or something like that, and you're scraping the thing off. Like you're trying to open up anything with like the little plastic thing on the top. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Like you know, you're opening up a bottle and it's like not open already. Like there's now there's like that silver paper in there. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And you're like then and then like that sinking feeling. for like, yeah, it's probably been sitting in there for like three months. It, the glue's all messed up and now you're gonna have to scrape it off with your fingernail and it's like dude i feel like i'm in the middle of an episode of this is like a pitch for a curb your enthusiasm episode <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> well there's like the curve yeah where he's like, just trying to open the package yeah, of scissors think, yeah, so he yeah. doesn't have the scissors yeah that's, i feel like the same way it's like like what am i doing here like like we don't all have fingernails <laughs> well thank you sam I, I think we all appreciate this we love your this little look into your mind regular thoughts for regular guys which i think still needs a theme song by the way we need to come up with our you know regular thoughts um, <laughs> regular thoughts <laughs> anyway let's get back into the music you know we had fatalistic groove on there we also had some stuff from Riva star a new one called hey dj it's his new project and i don't know if it's a new project called star tracks the track from super shy oh yeah we also had daniel steinberg but right now we're about to drop into a new rda release rules and apply records it's Life on Planets. It's out now. It's called Bow Wow. I love this track. Sam, do you have anything to say about this track? Um, yeah, I mean, I love it too. It's like it's like a unique kind of sound. 
yes. right? Which is always what we wind up trying to do with uh, with Life on Planet stuff. Um, One of our favorite artists. I love I love Phil. He's such Life on Planets. He's amazing, and I and yeah, I just this song is just song so cool, man. Yeah. It doesn't sound like anything else, which is what we really like about exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So let's get back into it. Hashtag rules on apply radio and let us know what you think. Here's Life on Planets Bow Wow out now on RDA Records. Wait, wait, you are now listening, listening, listening to Rules on Apply Radio. Radio, 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 radio. radio.
Radio. Sam, what else do we got going on? We got some shows coming up, I think. We do. Next week, we're going to Space Miami. We're going to Space Returning. in Miami. So I, I, I'm so scared to go back to Miami Airport. But uh, <laughs> oh man, we had for a, those of you folks. Yeah, yeah. How about just a heartfelt apology to everybody that you know? Unfortunately, we missed uh, beyond um, that. Uh, was I, that mon- monumentally. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever been so hard. I was so excited to play with Vanessa. And, and yeah, we had this cool back-to-back uh, schedule. We talked and, about it for forever. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and the American Airlines at Miami Airport just really screwed us. The weather and that airline. It, you know, it's like 
you know, you, you can only blame so much on the weather. And I'm sorry, you know. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. This this is our this is we've brought you all here not to just listen to our music and some of our friends' music, but we've brought you here to tell you don't fly American Airlines. <laughs> they suck. Oh God. We yeah. had a nine hour delay. We were just unable to make our our show so that was a bummer but we do have some other shows coming up and we're trying to make it up to you guys um you know we got some la plans that we're going to be announcing we got some san francisco mm-hmm. plans we're going to be announcing we got you know people keep asking about these cities we're going to be announcing some stuff soon yeah we also have what shebang i'm really excited to go back to shebang shebang's coming up um shebang the lang mm-hmm. and then uh yeah we got space i'm really excited to go back to space and play at space miami that's that's the best thing about Miami, we're just not flying on America. I'm flying specifically on a different airline in and out of that city. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we got some other music coming up soon too on RDA Records. Sam, right? Got a lot of big, you know, you know, we got another dances record coming soon. We got um, new. You've heard us play some of the dances stuff. Yeah. Also, you probably heard us play the uh, the Sven Lockenhauer Techno Tupac record. Yes, we have that. We've got our our boy Fennec. Fennec, this guy, no one is new new kid coming around, young young blood. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, what else we got? I feel like there's like a bunch of stuff. Oh my gosh, we got Ose and Basura Boys coming up too. Yeah, I gotta start playing that stuff on the radio. I, I've been holding that. We've been playing in our sets, killing it in our sets, killing mm-hmm. it in our sets. So I'm excited about what we got planned. Yeah. Um, Let's put it on the next show. You know, and maybe, you know, and also you guys got to let us know. You got to let us know what you think. We got the, we're start, ending here with the Too Weird for the Floor, which is the last track on their album. And we did it with the wonderful Zoff. It's called Did You Mean It? And this is like another little kind of, li- I guess people are calling it liquid drum and bass, Sam. What would you call this? Well, you know, so we did the T, which is like, you know, nasty, uh, like bass, drum and bass. Um, and then... You know, I've always sort of wanted to do like a more melodic drum and bass track. And I think that, I think that we nailed it. Yeah. Like, I, you know, I had this like bed and we sent it over to Zoff and then like, I was like, oh, let's just see what she does, does with it. And she sent it back. I was like, what? Yes. Like she killed it. And you know, it was like a piece of cake to arrange. Um, and uh, no, I'm really happy with this one. I, I, I put it on in the headphones and I crank it all the way up. Yeah. It's re- she's really killed the vocal here. And, uh, you know, yeah. You know, I was saying how favorite songs, you know, maybe right now, this is my favorite song. It's changed since, since the beginning of the show. <laughs> it's already yeah. changed. This is how much it changes. And, you know, I'll tell you who else's favorite song it is on our album. It's uh, the Mike B. Let me know that he really loved this song, which nice. uh, which is uh, very special to me. I'm really glad Mike did, might like it because I know he's a he's kind of a drum and bass snob. So, oh, uh, you know, okay. so then, you know, nice. there we go. Uh, guys, thank you for listening. Here's our two weird for the four. Sam and I will be back next month. Get involved on our, you know, find us on Instagram, find us everywhere. You can listen to this show on YouTube. You can listen to it on all sorts of things. Get involved. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thank you for listening. Right, Sam? Anything else? Thanks, everybody. We love you guys. All right. Thank you guys so much. Rules don't apply. Radio. Did you mean it? Yesterday that you told me you love me Did you mean it? Did you mean it? Oh, felt like it was yesterday that you told me you love me And you blame me for questioning
Can you pay me? 